Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Thanks to Night City Wire Episode 5 and also the latest gameplay trailer, I got a bunch of new details on the game. But some extra light has been shed on romancing Judy compared to my original video on her. But before we get into it, as always be sure to subscribe if you're new and let's jump right in. Romance in Cyberpunk 2077 is all based around the NPC's preferences, which will include your body type, your fashion style, your background, and your looks all go a long way in Night City, and you can't just commit to a relationship with simply anyone. NPCs do have personalities, and the game features one night stands, long term relationships, or just something more platonic. So, there are a variety of possibilities when it comes to romance options. Judy Alvarez is one of the girls you'll meet in Lizzie's bar, and will be one of the key characters guiding you through your brain dance adventures amongst other quests, and she more or less shares the same hatred towards the Tiger Claws, just like the mocks. V, you gotta take them down, that's why we're here! Now, Judy is a romance option, but earlier this year, from what I had heard from various sources such as Eurogamer, who had played the game, that Judy prefers female V. However, with the new gameplay trailers that dropped, we got to see Judy in a romance scene, and it looks like V's hand. But from my previous video on romancing her, a lot of people have commented that they believe this is male V's hand, and the original idea was that Judy is only into the female body type, but with the trailer revolving around male V, I can see why people may believe this is indeed male V's hand. Which would mean that Judy is potentially bi, so whether if you choose male or female V, Judy could possibly be romanced by both genders. Now females usually have longer thumbs, but comparing this hand with other scenes with male V's hand in it, in some cases, Mel V's thumb appears to be smaller and a bit more masculine, compared to the thinner and slender thumb and also take into account the thinner wrist as well. But it doesn't rule out that Mel V could still romance with Judy, because it goes without saying the entire trailer was based around Mel V. What I would suggest is, if you do wish to get with Judy, regardless of your gender, try and side with her as much as possible. It's these kind of actions that will lead to a potential relationship. She hates the Tiger Claws for one, so going against them is possibly going to play a major factor. On top of that, I think the streaked life path might go in your favour as well when it comes to trying to romance her, since I don't feel like she's the corpo or nomad type of girl, but who knows. Maybe by giving her what she wants and being on her side for whatever your decisions may be in the game, perhaps it will help in leading to a romance. So basically, if Judy is your girl, just stay in her good books. I will have a more comprehensive guide on Judy, Meredith Stout and more once more news drops or once I get my hands on the game, hopefully on December the 10th. So stay tuned for that, I've got plenty of more videos coming along the way, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it really helps me out, and I'll catch you all next time.